Ever wish your digital art had that authentic, distinct risograph look that artists love without any of the printing headaches? Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to get that look instantly. And good news, you don't need to drop thousands on a machine or inhale those ink fumes. You just need the risograph brush and texture kit by Retro Supply. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the bundle itself, some easy brush setting tweaks, three simple ways to use Rezo, a full tutorial, and a few reasons why I think these brushes are amazing. Let's get into it. For this week's demo art, we took it to Instagram to ask what you wanted to see. The UFO one with the ninja as a close second. So we're doing both. So check out my finished sketches. Aliens and ninjas, what's better than that? Except for maybe uh, alien ninjas. Oh, dang it. Now I have to draw an alien ninja. Give me a sec, guys. All right, now we have the perfect test subject. Let's get into how to actually use these brushes. Getting started with Rezo. When you first start using these brushes, you might freak out a little bit. You lift your stylus, put it back down, and oh no, the colors, they're overlapping in a weird way. Now, your drawing looks all glitchy. You think you broke Procreate, broke your brushes, broke your will to live. Relax, you're fine. This is actually how real Rezograph inks behave. Rezograph inks naturally multiply when layered, and these brushes replicate that effect perfectly. It's great for blending and adding depth, but if you just want to paint like normal, here's how to tweak it. If you prefer painting without automatic blending, you can tweak the brush settings to make them behave more like standard digital brushes, while keeping that Rezo texture. First, duplicate your brush pack, so you always have the original as a backup. Next, tap the brush you want to tweak. Go to Grain, then Offset Jitter, and turn it off. Now go to Rendering, and set the blending mode to Normal. Repeat this for every brush you want to modify. Now your strokes won't stack and multiply, giving you more control over how your colors interact. Honestly guys, half of my struggles vanished the second I figured this out. Three methods. Alright guys, let's talk workflow. There are three solid ways to use these brushes, so pick whatever fits your style best. Method 1. One layer. This is the most beginner friendly method and works best if you haven't adjusted your brush settings. First, pick a color from the included Rezo palettes. Next, pick a brush. And now, just paint. Paint everything on a single layer. Since these brushes are built to blend like real Rezo inks, keeping everything on one layer lets them interact naturally, just like actual print layering. This method is super easy, but if you like working in layers, keep watching. Method 2. Multi-layers. If you like to stay organized, this method is for you. First, pick a color and a brush. Next, create a new layer for each color. Then, set each layer to multiply. Repeat for all of your colors. Now your colors still interact like Rezo ink, but you can adjust them separately. Personally, I love this method. It gives me full control without losing that Rezo magic. Method 3. Retroactive Rezo. Have you already finished an illustration and just want to rezo it? Here's how. Separate all your colors onto individual layers. Set each layer to multiply. Add a layer mask. Set your color to pure black and fill the mask. This should hide everything. Choose your desired brush and paint on the mask to reveal the texture. This method is perfect for adding Rezo effects to already colored artwork. Step-by-step -step tutorial. Now that you actually know what you're doing, I'm gonna walk you through my process that I used to finish this Alien Ninja. Step one, add a paper texture. Rezo looks best on textured paper, so adding a texture layer boosts your art instantly. First, download a paper texture. Retro Supply has some great ones. I'm using one from the Phantom Paper Pack. Insert it as a new file in Procreate. Now just sketch an ink below the texture layers. This automatically makes your work feel more organic. Trust me. Step two, sketch an ink. You know the drill, guys. Get those lines done. Step three, color. Since I'm using method two, this is the workflow that I used. First, create a new layer under the inks. Set it to multiply. 
Now pick a color and a brush and start painting. Repeat for each new color. Step four, fine tuning your colors. Once your base colors are down, you can dial in the exact hues you want. You can lighten or fade colors using an eraser brush. Select a Rezo brush as your eraser. A lower intensity brush is good for subtle tone shifts, while a higher intensity brush is good for eliminating pigment faster. You can also adjust your color hues without repainting. First, create a new layer above the color you want to tweak and set it to multiply. Next, pick a new color and paint over it. You can even use shaders for smooth, natural looking transitions. This lets you refine your colors and add extra depth without completely repainting. Step five, bonus effects. At this point, you should have a clean, vibrant Rezo illustration. But if you wanna go the extra mile, here's a few bonus pro tips to push it even further. Number one, add print defects. First, add a layer mask to your color layer. Next, use a print defect brush with pure black to erase subtle areas. You can always switch to pure white to bring the colors back if needed. Play around with roller streaks, smudges, and ink bleed for a natural look. Two, create that classic misaligned print effect. First, select your color layer, and then slightly shift it up, down, or to the side. This creates that charming misalignment effect that makes Rezo prints feel alive. And that's it. Here's my little alien ninja boy. Pretty cool guy. By now, you should know how to use these brushes, but honestly, I love them so much that I need to geek out for a sec. This is five reasons these brushes rock. This might sound like a big advertisement, but no one forced me to add this section. This was only supposed to be a tutorial, but I love helping artists find dope tools, so here we are. One, endless color possibilities. Rezo inks are semi-transparent, and they layer to create wild, unexpected shades. You want neon brights? Done. A vintage zine aesthetic? Easy. Real Rezo style color mixing? Just start layering. Two, unmatched authenticity. A lot of vintage brushes claim to look real, but these actually do. That's because every single brush in this pack was made with a real Rezograph print in collaboration with a professional Rezograph printer. Plus they work with a bunch of real Rezo artists to make sure it was up to snuff. Guys, they literally sampled actual ink textures, print defects, and misalignments. So when you use them, you know you're getting the real deal. Three, everything you need right out of the box. This is more than just a brush set. It's a complete Rezo toolkit. In it, you get wet and dry brushes, great for smooth fills or grainy ink textures. You get shader brushes, perfect for tonal fades and gradients. You get print defect brushes to add streak, smudge, and ink bleed for that perfectly imperfect look. And you get a full guide, walkthroughs, plus video tutorials if you hate reading. Four, versatile for any style. These brushes work for anything. Bold posters, gritty comics, children's illustrations, typography, and more. If it's retro, graphic, or stylized, these will take it to the next level. Five, global color palettes. This pack includes historically accurate color swatches based on real Rezograph ink sets. So whether you want a Japanese Rezo vibe or a European indie press look, it's all here. This is a small detail, but it's huge for nailing the perfect color scheme. All right guys, I'm done gushing, I promise. Let's roll the time lapse so you can see my complete process for all three of today's pieces.
and that's it. All three of my illustrations done with the Resograph brush and texture kit. Pretty cool, right? Honestly, guys, these brushes make coloring fun. They're versatile, pro level, and deliver authentic Rezo goodness without the hassle. Now go forth and make something awesome. And if you've enjoyed this or learned anything today, hit like and subscribe. Or don't, I'm not your boss. But hey, if you do hit subscribe, that's the best way to help us make more future tutorials. So that's it for me, guys. Happy creating.